Me too is I don't like putting words in their mouths like yeah and I don't let her like I will ask him personally <laughs> about things like oh, I don't yeah, let yeah. her like talk like in the him. beginning like I, I told him or like things I was telling her like she confirmed it with him and to me I actually like that because a lot of people don't really care and it showed to it showed me that she actually cares about my relationship with him and basically about each other so yeah moving on is she going to be considered mom especially to the newest addition to the family and if so at what point do y'all consider her a parent as well i think only time can tell with that yeah. i mean they already love her so you can't tell me personally i feel you can't tell kids and be like yeah you have to call them mom you have to call them dad like mm -hmm. then it doesn't feel special for like the person and you just like it would just happen so nothing's forced yeah what do you think mm -hmm. nothing's forced everything comes with time you have to be louder yes <laughs> yes um yeah i think like for me i personally don't want them i don't want them to feel like they have to call mm -hmm. me mom or anything like that just because like i i just i don't feel comfortable with that like not necessarily i mean i don't know we'll see like i don't necessarily feel comfortable with being called mom right now I'm, like to be totally honest but like eventually like we'll see what happens and if it if it comes naturally yeah then i'll i'll be like okay like i it's can still, embrace that but it's still too soon to tell yeah it's very very so it's, it's not early. like we're gonna be oblivious and be like yeah automatically like yes this is what's gonna happen it's like no you kind of have to be realistic mm -hmm. in these type of situations too and that's like the maturity of it mm -hmm. also you can't just be like yeah it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be great and it's gonna be like this and like that like mm -hmm. don't get your kids too <laughs> excited yeah true how do you not get jealous mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> okay, you since you say you're not jealous, I think for me, like I said, it's about what you do, like what the person does, and like what it seems like their intention is behind it. Yeah. So like, if you're not intentionally like, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but like, I okay, guess like so, looking at girls. Yeah. Simple, like something simple. Right. Like, right. So, like, okay, using that as an example, if she's, like, looking at another girl or something, I wouldn't be, like, automatically, like, why are you looking at her? Like, I don't get that kind of jealous. Like, Unless I'm not I was, like, like literally, like... Unless she's him, literally, like, like, drooling. <laughs> yeah, and then, like... No, okay, if we're looking at girls together, like, obviously I'm not gonna get... Like, that's the kind of person I am. Yeah. Like, I will look at girls together. Like, we do mm -hmm. that all the time. But it's more, like... It's not you like got she's something looking something else like yeah. intended for that. Yeah. Like you're trying to get their attention right. type thing. Exactly. Like I've never been the je the type of jealous person to be like getting mad if you were to like like another girl's picture or something. Like yeah, I've never been like that. I'll never be like that cuz I'm like I don't give a shit. It's Sorry. just social media. But like <laughs> I know Unless she doesn't really DM like, and be like girl let's meet up and smash. Right, exactly. Now if you DM and her or leaving comments with kissy faces, then we going to have a thirsty. problem. Yes, yeah. then that's a little different, and we will address that issue. Yeah. But like, and for girls too, like we're very complimentive, and you can like, be complimentary without sounding thirsty right. too. Right, because like, it's all about how you say. Yes, and, it's about how you yeah. say things, not what you say even. Yeah, that's like literally another motto I live by. <laughs> or another thing too is like, if I do like post people on my snap or like on my Snapchat or on my Instagram, like you know, for shoutouts or whatever. Like, I'll tell her right away and just be like, just letting you know, mm -hmm. like, this is what it is. Definitely. It's all about communication, honestly, and not we trying to hide anything. We preach that. We preach it. Like, communication. That's how you are not jealous, too. Be honest, be open. Right. And. And that's how you know, like, 
you can catch them easily because if they're hiding things and you know yeah, something's going on. And that's when jealousy Exactly. Happens. And that's how jealousy starts. So it's like don't so hide anything. That's the same with thing me. between like us. If they were to try to hide something behind me, that's when I would be like, What you doing? Right. <laughs> like, get curious get and curious, then you start finding then, things. Yeah. Even then, if it's not that bad, it's just the It's fact just that annoying. Like why are you hiding, hiding it? Thing, yeah. And so that's how you don't get jealous. And like I said before, it's a mind training thing. Mm -hmm. And getting over your own insecurities, too. Mm -hmm. How did y'all meet? And I met her online. <laughs> yeah. And. 10,000 years.